Hey guys, welcome back to my show. We are turning a school bus into a tiny house. I call it the Adventures of Gilligan Phantom, but the adventures have really just been, how do you turn a school bus into a tiny house? That's been a big adventure. Someday we'll maybe hit the road, see the whole world. For now, we are making a dreamy, cozy little place to live in. And to live comfortably, you need heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, otherwise known as HVAC. And for the majority of that, we are installing one maybe two 12,000 BTU mini splits. We're choosing mini splits because they are energy efficient, they're simple, they're effective. They should cover all of our needs, which is really bringing the temperature up when it's, say, in the 40s or 50s, high enough to be comfortable, which would be like, I don't know, 68, 70. And also bringing the temperature down when it's 100 degrees out or so to our comfort level, which would be like probably 77 degrees. We can do all that with one or two mini splits with electricity, and that is the plan. But I put this up here with this bracket that sucks, and I deliberated for a great time, and I think that underneath the bus is a great spot for the mini split, and I think that on the back of the bus is a fine spot for the mini split too. They both have their pros and cons, and at the moment we're gonna continue actually with keeping it up here. Even though I said I was putting it underneath, it just has its difficulties as well, mostly with running the line set through a bunch of crazy stuff. So I have some brackets. I have some new brackets. Got these on Amazon. These are 18 by 18 inch truck toolbox mounting kits, basically. These things are heavy duty C-channel steel and they are much stronger than what they are going to be replacing. Which is this thin little dinky mini split racking thing which bounces. Which is just the wrong thing. I shouldn't have ever put this up here on that rack. We do have to make one modification to these things so far. Hopefully, we might have to drill a hole in the back there that is in a different location, but we can't use these triangular supports, which do give this a lot of increased structural rigidity, but I think that we're gonna be okay without it anyway, especially compared to what's up there right now. So I'm gonna cut these off, and we're gonna put these on the bus. All right, so these cut pretty easily. Let's get this other mini split off the roof. Oh, God. Okay, thank you. All right, this time I have an inside helper, which is so great. Nate's inside, and I'm unbolting these from out here. And as usual, I don't have the right tools, so we're just making do. Finally gonna try this decal remover kit. Let's we'll see if it works. Well, that worked exceedingly well. Definitely recommend if you're just starting a conversion, you go buy this. Think, oh gosh, except for you can't run it backwards. I don't know why I keep doing that. That took 49 seconds. That was amazing. All right, we need to modify this bracket, just the holes to match where our mini split's gonna go. Okay, so I just did a little bit of modifying of those holes. Now I'm gonna put some Cicaflex 221 around them and it'll spread out when I connect my washers. We're gonna bolt these racks back in here. You on it? You back on it? <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude. This thing looks really crooked. Um, I'm gonna tie this one, see what happens. Okay, so the new racks are in. Um, it took just a little bit of a modification in the holes. The only thing is, I think that this one here on the left really looks very crooked. You can see that it's very flat against the back. So I don't know if possibly the bracket is off a little bit when it was manufactured. To be honest, from back here, it really doesn't make much of a difference. I think I'm gonna accept that and put the, put the mini split up there, but first I'm gonna do something. Okay, what do you think? It looks dirty. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't think it's moving. What about this one? Ugh. 
It looks sturdy. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. All 90 pounds. <laughs> oh, he's got the pull ups. Oh, yeah. Good job. So I tried real hard to get this to position better. You can see that it's just the bracket's not square. Right here we've got, we're real straight up against here. Um, I took the measurements before I put the first racks on and you can see that this thing is just crooked. So I just can't take any of the blame for this. What I'm gonna have to do is, or instead of mounting it to this hole, I'm gonna have to drill a hole like right there, right at the edge of this channel, mount it to there and hope that it doesn't have like a big visual impact. Um, so I'm gonna do that now and take a step back and see. James Bond. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. I know it's pretty hidden by the tree, but um, it becomes pretty evident, obviously, when you get underneath it, because you can see the lip of that mini splits hanging off the side. 100% sure it's the bracket's fault, so there's nothing I can do. So I'm gonna drill that hole and then just bolt it in. I don't know, I can't spend too long on this. Oh God. It's so unfortunate that we had to do that. So this is the setup that they gave me, which I was not too impressed by. Um, we got two washers, this little bolt, and a lock nut. But that's for a mini split that's just sitting on a house. Mine's gonna be driving on the road. So I got bigger washers, a bolt, and a bigger lock nut. So I'm gonna swap these. Hopefully that'll hold us for a long time. All right, so mini split outdoor unit is installed. I got my stainless steel hardware up here. I put these rubber feet in there to help catch some of the load as it gets pushed down by the bolts. And this thing is rock solid now. I could definitely see this surviving for a long time on the road. So I feel great about that compared to previously. So mini split on the back of a bus. Super fantastico. So that is take two of the mini split outdoor install, at least the racking part of it. Next up, I'm gonna get it electricity. I'm gonna run the line set to the indoor unit. It's gonna be fantastic. Yeah, you could still get up there with a ladder and unbolt it and take it down. That's the trade-off. The big thing is that this was easier and the line set run's gonna be much easier and I think it's a fine solution. So if you're gonna put a mini split on a school bus, put it underneath, put it in the back, just do what you gotta do. Peace.